welcome to Swindon. How does it feel to be here? Yeah, it's a great feeling, you know. Uh, I'm really happy to just be back in England and playing English football. So a move that's come a bit out of the blue, so why was Swindon the right move for you? Uh, you know, I just wanted to be close to my family and just get back into English football. You know, it's been five years now where I haven't played any English football. Um, so this just came up and I think it was the perfect move for me for this time. And obviously Jamie Russell would have been heavily influenced on that with you. So what have those conversations been like with him? No, just positive, you know, um, about just coming in, playing as many games as I can and just enjoying it again. Um, and then just seeing what happens and hopefully get promoted at the end of the season. And obviously you'll have seen the sort of surrounding areas we've got here. So what's your first impressions of the ground? Yeah, it actually surprised me. You know, I'd never been here before. Uh, it's a lot bigger than I thought. Um, so, yeah, it's really nice. Talking about your sort of career way back at the start, obviously start out at Brighton. What do you take away from your time there? Uh, well, you know, I went there when I was nine years old and I left when I was 20. So I spent a lot of my childhood there. I made so many friends and memories. So, yeah, it was a really special time. And obviously it's my hometown anyway. So, of course, I love it and still follow them all the time. And a brief spell with Northampton in the EFL. So what do you take away from that time? Uh, well, I got smashed on my ankle in my second game, so I really enjoyed that. Uh, but it was my first time in a men's environment. Um, but I didn't play so much because of injury. It was a learning curve for me at the time, which I probably needed. But I suppose with that, it sort of shows you, you know, what EFL football can be like, sort of real men's football, and that, you know, that sort of level, it means something to people. Of course, yeah, people are paying for, paying for their families, you know. They're paying for money, they're paying for their families. It's, you've got to give everything. Um, but I enjoyed it, you know, when, when I did play. I enjoyed it and I really enjoyed the dressing room. Um, so hopefully can have something similar here. And then most recently, five years away playing in Holland. So what do you take away from that time? Yeah, some amazing memories, some amazing games. Um, and it made me more of an all-rounded footballer, you know. I learned how to see the game differently. Uh, it's obviously a different culture of football as well. So, yeah, I took quite a lot from it in all different aspects. The fans maybe haven't watched too much Dutch football. What, how would you describe it to them? Uh, what, how Dutch football is? Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's more possession-based, maybe a little bit slower and not as physical, uh, but technically it's, it's really high, especially when you play the higher-up teams. Um, the level is Champions League level sometimes, but... I think overall the whole league, the, the level of technical ability is really high. Because you've played some top teams in that, you know, in that country, so how will that have helped you in your development so far? Yeah, I think these experiences that you get from these sort of games are what can change you as a footballer. You can learn so much from these games, uh, moments when there's loads of pressure, you learn how to deal with it. Um, so these games, yeah, of course, uh, help me to become a better player. And talking about you as a player in a bit more detail, what would you say is your best position? What are your best attributes and things like that? Uh, I'm, a, I'm a left back, but there's always been an attacking left back, so left wing back as well is also a good position for me. Um, and I think I've always been known for dead ball deliveries, my crossing, uh, and just getting in amongst goals and assists. And obviously, the head coach has spoken quite, you know, on the importance of his full backs and his wing backs here. So, how excited does that make you coming into the team? Yeah, I mean, it's perfect for me, you know, I just want to get into a team and they play to my qualities because I think for the last few years I haven't had that. Um, so, yeah, hopefully I can just start enjoying my football again. Obviously, fitness-wise, where are you with everything like that? Uh, I don't think I'm a million miles away. Uh, I've been staying on it as much as I can. You know, it's difficult when you're not playing football to get football fitness is, is tough. Uh, but I, I'm not far away at all. Just finally looking at sort of the atmosphere and everything like that, what are your goals and targets for this year? Promotion. Promotion, goals and assists, and to enjoy. How important is that for you? Uh, what, enjoying it? Mm. Uh, it's, it's a big reason why I came here, um, because this ticks more boxes than abroad does, I would say. Um, being close to my family is a, is a big thing for me this year. Uh, I've been away for so long now, and... As I said, the last couple of years, I haven't really played how I would want to. So I just think this ticks a lot of boxes and how I'm going to enjoy it a lot more. Obviously, you spoke about you know, wanting to come back here and you know, be close to home and you know, feel loved for the game again. So how important is that for you to come here and enjoy your football? Yeah, uh, it's everything. It's everything. You know, I've grown up absolutely loving football. Football's my life. Uh, and to not be enjoying it as much as I have been in, in the past is annoying for me so yeah enjoying it I think is the most important thing because careers don't last forever you need to cherish it while while you're playing 
we spoke about the fan base off camera, so how excited are you to get out there as a Swindon Town player and show them what you can do? Yeah, I'm really excited, really excited. As I said, I can't wait to play English football. I love the English fans, of course. It's, I don't think you can be it anywhere. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited. Thank <laughs> you.